Okay, so we're uh, right now near downtown Las Vegas, and uh, this building right here behind me is probably going to look familiar to you if you're a fan of the TV show Pawn Stars. This is where it all happens right here. Here we are. The famous gold and silver pawn, star, uh, pawn shop, which you see on the TV show Pawn Stars. Yep, there's that famous sign that you always see, too. So, um... Anyway, I'm here with Matt, and we're gonna go and uh, yeah, Matt Dixon, we're gonna go and check it out. And uh, Matt Cantor, we wish you were with us too. He asked me to give him a yeah. shout out. I oh, talked okay, to him yeah. last night, so yeah, we we were here a couple yeah, we of years you, ago. Matt. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go in and check it out. Now we can't record inside, you know, for obvious reasons, but uh, we'll try to get some more footage uh, outside here in a little while. But uh, yeah, it's always one of our favorite places we love to come to. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so I'm outside right now. I'm just waiting on Matt. He's um, actually getting some souvenirs inside the pawn shop, so I thought I'd just show you the parking lot here. You, if you're a fan of the show, you'll probably recognize this parking lot right here because this is where uh, any time that uh, Rick has to appraise a car or something like that, you know, they've had a lot of scenes uh, filmed right out here in the parking lot. Right here inside the, the building, you know, we've seen that famous sign there in the, in the show before. So, um, yeah, and right over there, that is the, called the Pawn Plaza, and uh, that's... Uh, I think Rick's got a um, got a, uh, a bar over there, and there's a barbecue place, and Chumley's got a candy shop there and stuff. So uh, yeah, you know, like I said, they can't, they won't let you film inside the uh, pawn shop, but that's okay. I got some pictures, and you know we'll show those to you, so you can see what it looks like in there. But it's really, uh, it's really a neat place. So if you ever get a chance to come here, check it out. Okay, so we just had the dinner here at the Cosmopolitan, and uh, or Cosmo, I guess is the best way to say it. Look at this, though. This is pretty cool. You know, back in um, you know, 60s, 70s, and 80s, you used to be able to get uh, cigarettes out of, out of the machines. This is an old cigarette machine, but instead of getting cigarettes, you can get ARC. Look at that, cool. see? That is, you remember seeing these all over the place? Those are all locally made by local artists. That's, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's very pretty cool. neat. So and that, that? That's the full size. That's what it looks like when you get it. Oh, so it's on like a little block, okay. Yeah, that's well, cool. they're different colors, but they're actually that size. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Because yeah. this actually is an old-fashioned cigarette machine. Uh, yeah. so it's got to be. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. So they made it the same size as when I was a kid. Yeah, 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 so you should do your yeah, put your uh, you should go liquor store and you put your your money yeah, in and pull a little thing out there and <laughs> yeah. cigarettes exactly. fall right there. Yeah. <laughs> now that is cool. That's that's vintage right there, that's for sure. I'm showing my age now. Alright, check this out. We're here at the Cosmopolitan. Or the Cosmo I should say. Check out the chandelier, it's two stories high. See down there's the uh casino down there. That's pretty cool. What do you think of that, Matt? It's like a mall in here. This is a pretty neat uh, resort. I've never been in here before. It's pretty cool. We're just kind of walking around right now. Again, you know, it's like, what time is it now? It's almost 10.30 at night and this place is still packed. But you know what they say, Vegas never sleeps. 